The Sunday performances in week 10 of the NFL season were pretty good with so many players putting numbers on the board. Now, it was a tough week as some deserving athletes got left off my Sunday top five list. So let's get right to it and see who made the cut. For number five, we head to Western New York where two Vikings players got the job done with their hands. First, wide receiver Justin Jefferson on Sunday against the Buffalo Bills. Jefferson caught 10 balls for 193 yards on the day. Jefferson became the NFL's first player to top 100 yards receiving 20 times in his first three seasons, and he also had a touchdown on the day, too. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, Patrick Peterson was the star of the game as he picked off Josh Allen not once, but twice. His second INT came with 112 left in overtime to seal the victory for the Minnesota Vikings, who rallied from a 17-point second-half deficit to bounce the Bills 33-30. to Coming in at four is a man who continues to carry his team on his back week after week. That is Saquon Barkley, a.k.a. the New York Giants' entire offense. On Sunday, Barkley ran all over the Houston Texans at MetLife Stadium. The big blue tailback carried the ball a career-high 35 times for 152 yards and a score. The Giants produced 191 yards rushing against the NFL's lowest-ranked run defense as they topped the Texans 24-16. The third spot belongs to a quarterback that is no stranger to the top five. Tua Tungavaloa makes his return with another brilliant offensive display. On Sunday against the Cleveland Browns, fans started MVP chants for Tua. Why? Well, since his return from a concussion, Tua's been on fire. The Dolphins QB completed 25 of 32 passes for 285 yards and three touchdowns against Cleveland. Since returning in week seven, Tungavaloa has 10 TD passes and zero interceptions. In week 10, the Finns blasted the Browns 39 to 17 and are now in first place in the AFC East. At two, it's a quarterback who wears the number one, but he came in second. Chicago Bears second year QB Justin Fields is starting to put it together after rushing for 178 yards in week nine. Fields couldn't be stopped on the ground again in week 10 where he ran for a buck 47 and two scores. He had a 67-yard TD run in this one and became the only QB in the Super Bowl ever with multiple rushing touchdowns of 60-plus yards in the same season. Oh, and that's not all. The Chicago QB also threw for 167 yards and two scores. However, it was not enough as the Bears fell to the Lions. Yes, people, the Bears fell to the Lions 31-30. to And the number one spot belongs to Patrick Mahomes because he continues to do Patrick Mahomes stuff. The Kansas City Chiefs offense produced nearly 500 yards against the Jacksonville Jaguars and Mahomes. He was responsible for more than half of that yardage. The KC QB threw for 331 yards with touchdown passes to four different receivers, including one to former Giants wideout Kadarius Toney. Sorry, Giants fans. Mahomes also rushed for 39 yards in the contest as the Chiefs, who now own the AFC's best record, jilted the Jaguars 27-17. to there you have it, another Sunday filled with stellar performances. This season feels like a blur, guys, already as we're inching closer towards the postseason. But we'll be back next week with another great top five. See you in week 11.